Welcome to our video about the exciting and challenging career of an air traffic controller. Air traffic controllers play a vital role in the aviation industry, ensuring the safe and efficient movement of aircraft in the airspace. They are responsible for coordinating the movement of aircraft, providing information to pilots, and making quick decisions in emergency situations. In this video, we will take a closer look at the job duties, qualifications, and career path of an air traffic controller as well as the rewards and challenges of this highly sought-after profession. Whether you're a student considering a career in aviation or just curious about the behind-the-scenes operations of the airport, this video will give you a comprehensive overview of the role of an air traffic controller. So sit back, relax, and join us as we explore the world of air traffic control. Before we begin, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome content. And remember, Every like is a step closer to world domination. Every share is a sign of your undying loyalty. Every comment is a love letter to us, and every subscription is a marriage proposal. So go ahead, show us some love and we'll keep the good stuff coming. Air Traffic Controller Job Description The role of an air traffic controller is to ensure the safe and efficient movement of aircraft in the airspace. They are responsible for coordinating the movement of aircraft, providing information to pilots, and making quick decisions in emergency situations. Key Responsibilities Direct and coordinate the movement of aircraft in the airspace. Provide pilots with information on weather conditions, altitudes, and flight plans. Monitor and track aircraft using radar and other equipment. Communicate with other air traffic controllers, pilots, and air traffic control personnel. Make quick decisions in emergency situations, such as redirecting aircraft in case of bad weather or other hazards. Keep accurate records of flight plans, aircraft movements, and other information. Continuously monitor and evaluate the traffic situation, and adjust flight plans and instructions as needed. Ensure compliance with all federal aviation regulations and guidelines. Qualifications High school diploma or equivalent Successful completion of an FAA-approved air traffic control training program. Strong communication, problem-solving, and decision-making skills. Ability to work well under pressure. Must be able to pass a thorough medical examination and background check. Must be able to work in a rotating shift schedule. Career path. Entry-level positions typically require candidates to have a high school diploma or equivalent and complete an FAA-approved training program. After gaining experience, air traffic controllers may move on to supervisory or managerial roles within the air traffic control facility. Some air traffic controllers may also pursue advanced training to become instructors or managers in the field. The job of an air traffic controller is a high-stress and high-responsibility job. But it also offers a good pay and benefits package, stability, and opportunities for advancement. It's a challenging, but rewarding career for those who are interested in the aviation industry and have the right qualifications and skills. Air Traffic Controller Salaries Hashtag the starting salary for an air traffic controller can vary depending on factors such as location, experience, and type of facility. According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, BLS, the median annual salary for air traffic controllers in the United States was $124,540 in May 2020. Starting salaries for entry-level air traffic controllers typically range from $30,000 to $50,000 per year, with the potential to increase with experience and advancement. The Federal Aviation Administration FAA, employs the majority of air traffic controllers in the United States, and according to their website, starting salaries for FAA air traffic controllers are currently around $52,000 per year. However, Air traffic controllers may also earn additional money based on their level of experience, shift work, and location. Air traffic controllers at major airports or those with higher levels of experience may earn higher salaries. The earning potential for an air traffic controller can also be affected by factors such as promotions, cost of living adjustments, and cost of living differentials. With experience and advancement, air traffic controllers can earn salaries well into the six figures. It's also worth mentioning that air traffic controllers are considered as federal employees, and they have benefits such as retirement, health, and life insurance, paid vacation, and sick leave. Air Traffic Controller Typical Day A typical day in the role of an air traffic controller is fast-paced and dynamic, with a focus on safety and efficiency. The day typically begins with a briefing and handover from the previous shift, where air traffic controllers review the previous day's activity, weather conditions, and any potential issues that may affect the current shift. Once the shift begins, 
air traffic controllers are responsible for monitoring and directing the movement of aircraft in the airspace. They use radar and other equipment to track and identify aircraft, and communicate with pilots to provide information such as weather conditions, altitudes, and flight plans. They also coordinate with other air traffic controllers and air traffic control personnel to ensure safe and efficient movement of aircraft. Throughout the shift, air traffic controllers must remain alert and focused, as they are responsible for making quick decisions in emergency situations. This can include redirecting aircraft in case of bad weather or other hazards, and coordinating emergency response efforts in the event of an incident. Air traffic controllers also keep accurate records of flight plans, aircraft movements, and other information, and continuously monitor and evaluate the traffic situation, adjusting flight plans and instructions as needed. The work schedule for air traffic controllers is often rotating, which means that they work different shifts, including nights, weekends, and holidays. The nature of the job also requires them to be able to work in a fast-paced and high-stress environment. In summary, a typical day in the role of an air traffic controller is a challenging and demanding role that requires constant focus, attention to detail, and quick decision-making skills. But it's also a rewarding and fulfilling career that plays a vital role in ensuring the safety and efficiency of the aviation industry. Air Traffic Controller Career Prospects the career prospects of an air traffic controller are generally considered to be good, as the demand for skilled and qualified air traffic controllers is expected to remain steady in the coming years. In the United States, the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, employs the majority of air traffic controllers, and they have a long-term hiring plan to replace retiring controllers. The FAA also has a program to recruit and train individuals with no prior air traffic control experience, called the Air Traffic Control Specialist ATCS, cadet program. After gaining experience, air traffic controllers may move on to supervisory or managerial roles within the air traffic control facility. These roles often involve overseeing the work of other controllers, and may include responsibilities such as developing and implementing procedures, managing budgets, and training new controllers. Some air traffic controllers may also pursue advanced training to become instructors or managers in the field. This can include specialized training in areas such as aircraft navigation, communication systems, or emergency management. In addition, air traffic controllers may also have opportunities to work in other countries, as the demand for skilled air traffic controllers is not limited to the United States. It's worth mentioning that air traffic controllers are considered as federal employees, thus they have benefits such as retirement, health, and life insurance, paid vacation, and sick leave, and good earning potential. Overall, the career prospects for air traffic controllers are good, with opportunities for advancement and specialization within the field, as well as a steady demand for skilled and qualified professionals in the coming years. Pros and Cons of Being an Air Traffic Controller Being an air traffic controller is a challenging and rewarding career that plays a vital role in ensuring the safety and efficiency of the aviation industry. Here are some of the pros and cons of being an air traffic controller. Pros High earning potential Air traffic controllers typically earn a good salary, with the potential for additional income based on experience and location. Stability Air traffic controllers are considered as federal employees, thus, the job is considered stable and not subject to layoffs or downsizing. Sense of responsibility and accomplishment Air traffic controllers play a critical role in ensuring the safety and efficiency of air travel, which can provide a sense of responsibility and accomplishment. Opportunities for advancement. With experience and training, air traffic controllers can move into supervisory or managerial roles within the air traffic control facility. Benefits. Air traffic controllers are considered as federal employees, thus they have benefits such as retirement, health, and life insurance, paid vacation, and sick leave. Cons. Stressful and high-pressure environment. Air traffic controllers must remain alert and focused at all times, and must be able to make quick decisions in emergency situations. This can be stressful and demanding. Rotating schedule. Air traffic controllers often work different shifts, including nights, weekends, and holidays. Physical and mental demands. Air traffic controllers are required to pass a thorough medical examination and pass a background check. They must also pass regular medical and psychological evaluations to ensure they are fit for duty. Limited career mobility. Air traffic controllers are typically limited to working in the air traffic control field, which can limit career mobility. Training and qualification demands. 
Air traffic controllers need to pass an FAA-approved air traffic control training program and pass a series of tests and certifications, which can be demanding and require a significant investment of time and money. Overall, being an air traffic controller is a challenging and rewarding career that requires a high level of skill and dedication. It can provide stability, earning potential and sense of responsibility, but it also demands a high-stress and high-pressure environment, and a significant investment of time and money in training and certification. Air Traffic Controller Interview Questions Here are some examples of questions that may be asked in a job interview for the role of an air traffic controller, along with some possible responses. Question. Why do you want to become an air traffic controller? Answer. I have always been fascinated by the aviation industry, and I am excited about the opportunity to play a critical role in ensuring the safety and efficiency of air travel. I am also drawn to the high level of responsibility and decision-making required in this role, and I am confident that I have the skills and qualifications needed to excel as an air traffic controller. Question. How do you handle stress and pressure in a high-pressure environment? Answer. I am able to handle stress and pressure by staying calm and focused, and by breaking down complex problems into smaller, manageable tasks. I also practice good time management and prioritize important tasks to ensure that everything is done in a timely and efficient manner. Additionally, I stay informed about the latest developments in air traffic control technology and procedures to ensure that I am always prepared for any situation that may arise. Question. Can you describe a time when you had to make a quick decision in a high-pressure situation? Answer. One time, I was working as a trainee air traffic controller, and I had to redirect a flight that was on a collision course with another aircraft. I had to quickly assess the situation, evaluate the available options, and make a decision to redirect one of the aircraft to a different altitude. It was a high-pressure situation, but I was able to remain calm and focused, and my decision prevented a potential collision. Question. What kind of communication skills do you have? Answer. I have excellent communication skills, both verbal and written. I am able to clearly and concisely convey information to pilots, other air traffic controllers, and other air traffic control personnel. Additionally, I am able to listen actively, and able to understand and interpret instructions and information provided by others. I am also comfortable working in a team environment and able to work well with others to achieve a common goal. Question. What do you know about the FAA's hiring process and training program for air traffic controllers? Answer. I am familiar with the FAA's hiring process for air traffic controllers, which includes an initial application, followed by a series of tests and evaluations to assess skills and qualifications. If selected, candidates then enter an air traffic control specialist, ATCS, cadet program, which is a comprehensive training program that covers the technical and operational aspects of air traffic control, including classroom instruction and on-the-job training. I am also aware that the process can take several months and it's a competitive process.